So how is it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are here with Raimi's Alfa Romeo 4C and we're gonna go cruise around this. Uh, we're going to obviously see the new Gran Turismo movie. It's got it all lettered up. I'll show you when we get there though. Let's go for a ride first. All right guys, so Raimi is so committed. He even lettered up the inside. So we got the nice 99. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a sick day. We got the homies cruising back there with us. Let's see if I can give you a view. I'm gonna draw my phone. So uh, I don't know if I got him on camera. That's sick, but it's gonna be a good day. I'm excited to go watch the movie. All right, guys. So if you've been a fan of the channel for a long time, I got a special treat for you. We're gonna pirate the entire movie for you today. No, I'm just kidding. Really? For, for legal reasons, that's a joke. But we are uh, pretty excited. I don't know. I feel like it's misleading to call it the going to see the Gran Turismo movie, and you guys don't even get to see it, unfortunately. But that's gonna be sick. Oh, here we go. Dude. <laughs> Puts you right back. Alright guys, so we're gonna give you the quick run around on what had, Remy had done to the car. So we removed the endless banner just for now. I just run a little Gran Turismo, the real driving simulator banner up at the top. His sticker, his number is 99, so he's got the Gran Turismo number on the side. I mean, this is like, his car is a spitting image of the car he has in GT, so it's so sick. We've got the graphics back here. I love, like I said, I love the PlayStation decal and the little 99 in the dash, so I'm hyped. It's gonna be so sick to be outside the movie theater in that. Woo! And we are cruising over to Logan and Sophia in his WRX. Whoop, 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 whoop. We got, we got Chris, we got Shaq, what up, what up, and Lexus. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna head over there. I'm too big, I'm too big to be getting in and out of here, man. Look, look at this, Ugh. There, okay, there we go, there we go. We gotta get the, the foot in. I feel like every Alpha 4C video is the same, where I'm like, all right, one foot in, one foot in. All right, we're good, we're good. All right, look at that, we got Lexus truck in the front. The .5 is too goofy for that shot. <laughs> As like as they like approach it, it just becomes dead. It's so funny. <laughs> it's just dead. <laughs> oh, that was that was menacing. All right, we got Don Small over here. We're gonna see if we can get in this truck. I wanna be inside when we air out. Yeah, he knew, he knew. Thanks, I was like, yo, we gotta see if we can get in this truck. Hold on. Absolutely. I haven't, uh, I haven't enjoyed the bagged mini truck life yet, man. I'm, I'm used to the static, dude. Manual is my favorite part. Damn. Yeah, it's gonna be a sick, it's gonna be a sick day. I didn't know you were meeting us, dude. I was like, I was like, yo, look at the, look at the laid out truck. And I was like, oh, it's Don. <laughs> Dude, the red tint is crazy. Oh, oh I love that. that <laughs> and now we're laid out. I'm on bag fix for the day. Dude, yeah, right out. Love to see it. Could almost, could almost get the rear of this under here. I'm just, I'm just saying. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. And here we have it, the little Ranger and the big F-350. And uh, we also got the two Lexuses over here. Sick! I, I don't leave my purple truck outside for things like this, so we uh, we just took the white truck. And I wanted to ride in the 4C because it's like perfect content. I mean, we're literally going to see Gran Turismo. All right, Lex, Lex is messing with... All right, all right, let's see it. Just start turning theirs on. Ah, let's go! All right, turn them off. We don't want to see that. Oh my God, you turn them all off. All right. Nice. That's that's funny. That is funny. What do you think of the movie? <laughs> what do you think of the movie? It was gas. Yeah. Yeah. It was tough. It was tough. I, I I'd go again. I'd go again. Lex Lexus has too much power in that remote. All of the cars are pink now. <laughs> It's getting it's getting funnier and funnier as time goes. She put it to the flashing red and blue. <laughs> Dude, it's so Dude, that is that is way too funny. Rip the 
flip. Peace out. Well, that concludes today's segment of this video. Hey, how is it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are cruising over in the F-350 to uh, go on over to HD in Epping, New Hampshire. So I'm excited to see what shows up and I will see you all when I get there. All right, guys, so we just rolled right up to HD. Look at this, we gotta think, I think this is a Honda today. This is so sick, little right-hand drive car. But right here, we have a Honda Acti with the Fujiwara Tofu Shop wrap. It's got the Panda livery, dude, that is so nasty. I had to grab a video, this has got the R, it's just cool. Someone's having some serious fun with this thing, dude. No way. Right here is the HA giveaway car. It's this nice little right hand drive, kind of like an Accord almost. I think it's called a Torino. Not too, too sure of the name, but it is badass. All right, guys, now we're going to do a little walk around on Honda Pro Jason's FL5 Type R. So, from a recent video, we just saw he did the inlet pipe, which is pretty sick to see. I like that. It's a lot cleaner look. Got some nice aftermarket wheels on there already, too. Come on here. And, uh, ooh, he must have the Acuity short throw shifter and everything. I'm loving that, uh, that shift knob too, a really nice look. This is uh, pretty sweet to see. I'm excited to see what he does to the car. I imagine it's either, must be on some sort of coilovers or lowering springs because he's got it down just a little bit more. I mean, these cars are still relatively pretty new and really sick. We have the spoiler risers as well. And he uh, is just showing off. You can choose any angle of tilt, but uh, I, like the, I like the risers. It's gonna give it a lot more aggressive look which is uh, exactly what this car needs. I love that, uh, that aggressive look, just like the FK8 has. So right in here, you can see, uh, we actually just talked and the Acuity shifter, uh, short throw shifter hasn't been made yet. So they're in the works on that, which is pretty cool. So I guess it's just the shift knob right now, but he said he had this wrapped in Alcantara to match the factory center console. Just a super cool, all the little details, just like his uh, FK8. So I'm pretty hyped to see what this car really becomes. Actually, something else I just noticed was the aftermarket intercooler and check out the Type R strut brace. That is, the word is sexy. That is sexy. That's so cool seeing the R badge in the engine bay. Nasty. This is pretty nasty. We've got the FL5 Type R with the Type R logo down there and a carbon fiber wing. So we're just doing a basic walk around some of the cool stuff that we see here. And uh, this definitely stands out. We got a wing, a little cab spoiler all on a Honda Ridgeline. I love it. Nice, beautiful, like chameleon wrap on a two-wheel drive with the front lip. This is sick. Some dark, some dark glass too. I love that. So unfortunately, it's raining again. But right here, I had a couple cool clips. We had a EG hatch, this beautiful little red car with the uh, nice little lip back there on some TE37s. But I really wanted to show you guys this EK9 Civic Type R. Also on some Volk Race Racing wheels. Oh, dude, you can see a little Civic Type R on the dash there. Looking for a little number plate. I'm not sure where they would be on these. But if this is legit, that would be so dirty to see. What a cool car. I can't even lie to you guys. I'm not even sure what this is. It has like a Prelude front end, but it's a wagon. Let's see. It says it's an Accord Aero Deck. I've never seen one of these. It's right-hand drive, straight from Japan. I'm loving the red Recaro seats. Oh, the artwork back there is beautiful. On these white wheels, too. I've always been a really big fan of the white on white type of things. So, the yeah, an Accord Aero Deck. That is nasty. I've never seen something like that. Right over here, we got a, uh, I would want to say this would be a Prelude as well, but it's, it's definitely not. It's a nice little four-door. This might be an older Accord as well. Oh, my God, it's an Integra. Man. We don't see too many of these integrants around here, so I'm not too, too familiar with this body style. But it says it's an EX16. That is gas, dude. What a cool combo of cars to have back to back. Again, right hand drive. Right over here, we have a nice little Acura Integra with the JDM front end. This car has the K-Series swapped into it with ITBs. Had to grab a clip of that. That's super cool to see on the K-Series. Gives it a nice, cool, unique, throaty sound. I'm loving these wheels. It's all uh, stripped right out with a nice little racing harness. So someone is definitely having a ton of fun with this car. And I'm liking the little wing as well. All right, guys, we got a little Mazda Miata at H day. And you know what that means. It's swapped. But it's not the typical K-Series swapped into it. Right over here, we got like the Accord V6 swapped into here. That is so cool. Must, uh... Must be bolted up to maybe like a factory Mazda Miata Trans. 
because that is pretty solid. It didn't look like it had to be relocated or anything. Very, very cool, nice little wide body. Got a little bit of a lifted look to it. But yeah, it was just cool. I had to come grab a clip of that. All right, this car earned the name Yugen R. This is awesome. Uh, you can see we got an aftermarket exhaust, a little bit more aggressive diffuser. We got the super cool wing, all carbon fiber. Looks really clean. These brackets don't look cheap. They look very nice. Mugen badging in the taillights. Then you walk down here and he's got a full cage and his Type R with Mugen seats. Then we walk around to the front, nice carbon fiber hood, good ventilation right there. Some mirror caps, aftermarket wheels. And lastly, the Mugen lip. I lied, that wasn't lastly. I didn't even realize the wheels are Mugen wheels as well. That is nuts. And right over here we have the like our all-time favorites to always see at H Days, the two spoon sports like done up, all craziest can be cars, both K series, turboed, did all the skunk two, K tune parts. I mean this is beautifully done. Everything has been touched. The teardrop uh, hood exit. I mean there's not even a hood on here. Oh wow, I guess there's full time not a hood on here. Even where the hood are gone, there's a delete plate. This one's full carbon fiber in here. That is insane. I don't even I don't even know where you would begin with that. Then we walk down here and it is a wide body. This is an EG hatch with some Recaro racing seats. That spoon sports wheel is beautiful. Oh, I love the wing too. Seriously, this chassis cage in here, dude. The whole roll cage, everything is so nice. Yeah, I had to grab some clips. We'll even walk up to this too. They're both right-hand drive. Absolutely crazy. Slam little static stance car. This is real. <laughs> Okay, this is beautiful. We got this sick little purple EG hatch. This is dirty. Oh, a little lightning strike back there. It's been lightning and thundering. Yeah, this is just simple, clean. I'd love to own this. This is awesome. <laughs> 